Okay, I'm here. I'm gonna get my trap. It's raining out. I'm gonna untie it here first. Been out here all night, so let's see if we got anything in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's pretty loaded. It's not loaded, but it's good. Alright. Some good shiners in here this time. And if I didn't say on my last video, I just put balled up bread in here. Balled up bread. And that's it. There's a good amount in here. I don't know if I'm going to keep them all. Some monster. These are too big for my tank. But I'm not going to count them. I'm just going to put them in. Definitely got a bunch. Look at these guys. I'm going to keep certain sizes. Yeah, I could be picky because I get so many. There was a time where I couldn't find a place to get them. And then just was able to figure it out with a few contacts keep a couple of bigger ones but I'm not keeping the giant ones because I've got some really big ones in my tank at home I'll just dump them out it's easier that way all right okay. sunny I'll put it back Again. Again. And now some, I know you're probably saying, why are you throwing those big ones back? I told you. I've got some monsters in my tank. Um, and I've got a lot in the tank, so I don't want too much. Alright, I'm just going to keep all these. Pretty good. Pretty good bucket of them. And uh, we'll bring them home and put them in the in the tank. Okay, I'm home with my latest golden shiner catch. Um, I apologize for the noise. I got a shed with a metal roof and it's raining out, so that's what we get. So hopefully you can hear my voice over that. Anyway, there's, there's the minnows I just hauled in. I'm going to throw them in the tank. Just to finish the process. Um, decent sized ones here. Various sizes. Not quite a few, I didn't count them. I guess I could watch the video back and count them. But this is just adding to my a lot that I have in there already. Um, so as of now, it should be good as long as I keep them alive. I think I'm good for my season, uh, my pike fishing season. So, just gotta get on the ice. It's been pretty warm here in the Northeast, but there is ice in some places, and I know of a few places that have, have ice right now. So, hopefully, I can get on. These are generally on the smaller side, um, like yesterday, but like I said, I have some larger ones. One of these look kind of funny in here. I think it was this one. Let's see if he survives. And that is it. So, again, let's look at the tank again. Uh, just a little more on the tank. You know, there's my filter. Uh, that I made on people bucket inside I've got filter media I've got um, some some scouring pads 
um, some scrubby pads, some carbon, um, a couple other things. So you just put in there what you would put in a, in a fish tank. Um, you just have to, you just have to um, find the right sizes for that. And I've got a 500 per hour gallon pump in there that's pumping up the water through here. Pumps the water through here. Um, this pipe goes all the way to the bottom and it distributes. It rises up through the media and then out through here and back into the tank. And then just in case that ever gets clogged, I have uh, a little bit higher of overflow, which also runs back into the tank. It's never um, done that, but just in case. And uh, it's tough to tough to see. got 50 or 60 in there right now and that's about the max I would put in there for these size shiners otherwise you start losing them last year I think I had too many in there and they got funny I lost a few um, some of these shiners have been in here since like oh, right around the week after Thanksgiving and it's January 6th today so I haven't lost any yet um, I'll keep an eye on them so that's it for now um, I'm not going to trap anymore if I need to and um, that's it.